what's up everybody you guys so um i'm coming with a video tonight you guys so tonight we finally gonna dye this gray wig that i have so i have an old gray wig i kept saying blonde you guys when i initially told y'all that i was gonna dye my old wig um my hair color cherry bomb but it's actually gray so my bad for that so this is the hair dye that i purchased you guys so it's called ritz and this is a wine color because i couldn't this was the closest it has my hair color because my hair color is cherry bomb. So this is really close though. And I like this color. So this has the color look just like this. Okay. And it's called wine. So this dye right here, I got it from Walmart. It's a synthetic dye because the wig is synthetic. So I couldn't use real dye to dye the wig because it's not human hair. The wig is synthetic. So you'll need synthetic dye. And so this dye right here is for cotton, cotton, wool, nylon, and more. So, as you can see right here, it's for silk, linen, and stuff like that. And um, as you can see, it's a pre-wash fabric to remove any finishes or stains. So, this right here is a fabric dye. So, this is what you'll need to use if you want to dye a synthetic wig. The real dye will not take. It has to be Hermit hair, a Hermit hair wig. If you want to dye a wig, a Hermit hair wig, it has to be the real dye. And the wig has to be here with her. So this right here is real dye. So this is the color of my hair, cherry bomb. And um, I have a little bit left, not a whole lot. So I'm just gonna squeeze that in the water with this right here once we prepare um, the dye for the wig. So let's get started, you guys. Okay, you guys. So this is the wig that I'm gonna be dying tonight. So this how it look. I can't find my wig head, y'all. I think it's inside my shed, still inside our moving box when we moved in this house. And um, I just don't want to go out there. It's real dark and I don't want to go out there and get it or whatever. So I'm gonna have to work with this wig, like hanging on the chair or whatever. But I do have a wig head and I'll be right there to make it look more professional, but oh well, you guys. So this how the wig look, as you can see. I haven't worn it that many times. I call myself calming it out a little bit, but and as you can see, the mind's still bouncy and stuff like that. So the wig don't look too bad. But I was going to wash it initially, wash it, then blow dry it, then flat iron it. But I changed my mind. I said, you know what? I'm just going to dye this wig. So hopefully it come out, you know, it come out looking pretty, you guys. So this is my first time doing this project. I don't know how it's going to come out. So just bear with me and we go get a um get started so what i was gonna do i was gonna use scalding hot water in this old bowl right here i was gonna put some scalding hot water in this old bowl and i was gonna pour this whole thing uh dab or probably half of it i think i'm gonna do half of it and i feel like if i need more i'll go back in and pour the rest of it so i can be on the safe side and so i was initially gonna use this right here with scalding hot water but i changed my mind i think if i boil it in an old pot on my stove I think I'll get a better result. You guys pick that up me, a better result. So we're gonna go over here on the stove and we're gonna get prepared. I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna go try to find me the oldest pot that I can find. You guys, and so we can do this video. Okay, you guys, so this is what I was saying, you guys. I don't know if I told y'all or not, but I think I did. I was initially gonna do it in that blue bowl over here on my table, you guys. But look how, look how hot my water get. My water get hot like it's boiling on the stove. But I think I can get better results if I let it get even more hotter on the stove. But look how hot this damn water is. This water right here will burn the fuck up. My water get real, I mean, curse my water get real, real hot, you guys. Too hot. <laughs> this is crazy. So I'm gonna put a little more uh, water in this pot right here. This is my one pot I decided to use. This pot I barely use. It's like a Chinese pot, like you put fried rice in it. But they only like $5 and something at Walmart for this brand right here. Um, you know, if it's pop messed up or whatever, I probably can't use no more after I put this dye in. Oh, well, I'll go buy another one. It's only like $5 and something at Walmart. So I'm going to add a little more water. Because I didn't want to use my pots that I normally cook out of. In case this dye messed up the pot or whatever. Or I can't. I'm going to read it because I'm probably not going to be able to use that pot anymore. I'm probably not going to be able to wash it. But they, like I said, I'll purchase another one. So we got our water on you guys. So I'll be back. Once it uh, gets to a little boiling point and get a little more hotter. Okay, you guys, so we're about to get started. So I'm gonna open this up. So I got the wig right here. I got me a um, towel right here. And you're gonna need something to stir the wig around or flip it or whatever. So I'm gonna open the rig that. 
synthetic dye, you guys. So I'm gonna place y'all right here. Let me turn y'all around so y'all can see. Okay, so I'm gonna open up this. So that's the color. I'm gonna do a shake it up a little bit. Okay. I don't want to put too much water in my pot because I want this uh, weed to really, really take the dye. So I think I'm just gonna ump a little bit of it out, you guys. And if I need more water, I'll just add more. So now we're gonna pull this over in. The pot, the warmth pot. Okay, this real, real watery is not thick at all. So I'm glad I did dump some of the water. So this is the real that I had a little bit left. As, as I explained to y'all, it's thicker. God, I need to go pull my gloves. Oh yes, this is thick. This is thick, so I don't want to mess up my nails with this dye. Hold on, y'all. Let me go get me some gloves to put on. Okay, you guys. So I have my gloves on and I double gloves. Okay. Now I'm gonna stir it around. Oh, the color is pretty. Look at it. Look at the color. So the color is pretty. Okay, make sure you have a towel. You don't want to mess up your countertops and all that good stuff. So now what I'm going to do is I got the stove on high. I think I'm going to turn it on medium. Now we're going to add the wig, you guys. Let me turn this around so y'all can see. Get the little brown hem that y'all away so y'all can see. Let me let y'all see how the water looks first. So this is how the water looks, you guys. So like I said, it's boiling, you guys. It's ready for the wig to go in. I think it's going to do well. Hopefully my fingers crossed. So that's how it's looking. Okay, let's put the wig in. Ooh, look at that, y'all. I hope this comes out right, y'all. I don't know. It's not red. It looked burgundy to me. Ooh. I don't know, y'all. Might work, might not. Ooh, I splashed that on the camera. Hold on, y'all. So this is how we're looking so far, you guys. So it looks like it's an epic fail. It do not look red at all. It do not look burgundy anymore like it did at first. So this is my first time trying this project, experimenting, but it looks like an epic fail to me. But I do have some more dye. I'm just gonna pour all in here to see what happens. So I used all of it. It looks like it's purple now. This didn't work at all. This didn't work at all. Mm -mm, this don't look nothing like my hair too. So I'm gonna let it sit for like about 10 minutes, you guys. 10 more minutes, 10 or 15 more minutes, then it will come back and we'll go from there. Okay, and one more thing, you guys, before um, we go to the next part of this project. So I was kind of reading the directions. Um, if you uh, was dying linen or something like that, and it said add um, 
vinegar or dishwashing liquid or salt. But that's only when you dab, I mean, dyeing fabric or something like that. But I did add some vinegar inside here. This is the only vinegar that I had, so I put a little white wine vinegar in there. Oh my God, you guys, this is a hot mess. So this is the only vinegar that I had, and I used a little bit of my dishwashing liquid. So I already put that in there. And I, I noticed when I did that right there, it got a little darker. So I'm just kind of letting it sit. And I got my burner on low, low, low. So as you can see, you got a little darker. Um, it's nothing like my hair color. This look purple to me. It look like a dark purple to me. It look nothing like the ball. But um, yeah. I think if it was a blonde wig, it would have died better, probably. This wig was actually gray, so that was the closest to blonde. But I think if it was blonde, actually blonde, I think it would have probably died a little better. But this is the only color that I've seen. I didn't, at that Walmart, particular Walmart I went to, if I had seen a brighter red, red I would have got that because I'm going to do this project again. I'm going to buy me a synthetic wig, a blonde synthetic wig, and I'm going to do this project again. I'm going to see can I go find a brighter red than this to see how it come out. But I'm not going to give up on this project, you guys. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm going to let this sit for like five more minutes. I'm going to start playing with it and just let it sit so it can soak in all of that. And um, I'm going to take it out and pour this out, pour this out or whatever. Then I'm going to take this wig over my sink and I'm going to wash it. I'm going to wash it with a shampoo and then I'm going to blow dry it. Then I'm going to flat iron it. Then I'm going to come back and show y'all how it looks. Okay, you guys. So I noticed... When I wash, try to wash the weed, you know, like rinse it a little bit after I dab it on the stove, it looked like the dab was coming off for some reason. So I tried it with cold water first when I did that method, you guys. So I put it back in the dab a second time, then I tried to rinse it again with hot water that time. And it still did the same thing, so I started back in the dab, as you can see now. So it's sitting in here, I'm kind of working it around. So now I'm gonna show y'all what I'm talking about. I'm gonna put it over in the sink and try to rinse it so I can pat it dry so I can go ahead and blow dry it. You see what I'm saying, you guys? It's like the dye is coming off. Most of the dye is coming off. Maybe I shouldn't put the permanent dye with the synthetic dye. I don't know if that's the reason why. But this right here was a fail. They still have that on the wig, as you can see, but it's not. You still can see the gray. Put it that way. You still can see the gray in this wig. So as you can see, the dye is washing off when I try to rinse it. I really don't even want to be bothered with this wig, man. <laughs> I don't even want to blow dry. I just want to chunk it in the garbage bin. Because this is not working. Like any wig, if you dye your rear hair, or whatever, you do have to rinse the dye. And once, when I'm doing it, as y'all seen, the dye is coming off. But I'm gonna do this project again. I'm gonna try it one more time. I'm not gonna put mix it with no real dye or anything like that. I'm gonna try it one more time. Okay, you guys so this how the weed came out y'all a hot mess it didn't take the color at all you guys so look at it it took a you can see a little bit of the red in it but it really didn't do too much you still can see the gray it's like a gray mixed with a little red well a little red mixed with gray that's what it looked like and so i kind of just cut the bangs a little bit it's shedding a whole lot since i um washed it well since i dyed it and stuff like that it's starting to shed a whole lot so what i did was i cut the bangs and stuff like that and I flat ironed it the best I could. Put a little oil, oil on it, you guys. I didn't have any oil sheen, so I actually used use, uh, grease so that I give me some oil sheen. Y'all seen that riddle back over there, flat ironed it again. So, yeah, look at this. Y'all, I don't know. I might wear this wig like one or two times. That's it. Give and take one or two times. And it might look better if I pair up with an outfit on because right now I just have on my nightgown, you guys. And it's late and I'm not going to go get dressed up to do a video. Um... Uh, you know, to show y'all how it look if I had an outfit on. But this how it look, you guys. It's going to look the way it look, whether you got an outfit or not. Point blank period. But I think it'll look better if I dress up a little bit. Put on some little earrings. Put these eyelashes on right. Because these things on. 
they not all right y'all and put a little lip gloss or something on y'all and do my eyebrows a little bit i think it'll look kind of cute you know if i dress up a little bit with it so i think i'm gonna wear it one or two times because i want to see how it look with an outfit on and i'll do a video if i get dressed tomorrow i, I think i am because i have to go um take her some business tomorrow so i probably do a video tomorrow with it on um showing y'all how it look with me dressed up with an outfit on you guys so it don't look too bad but i don't like how the wig the color came out i want the color be the color of my hair cherry bone as y'all can see on here that's how that's what i was looking for didn't work so what i'm gonna do is either i'm gonna do this uh project over i know i'm gonna do it over but i don't know when but it's gonna be real soon but what i'm gonna do is i need to go to the hair store and try to find me a cherry wig because i do want me a cherry wig i never i wear a burgundy you know red colors but i want the cherry bomb wig it ain't hard to find i might have to order it online so yeah this hair came out you guys let me see where i can sit y'all this tripod thing is not working right i have to take my phone case off in order for that to work right hold on y'all lord This gonna work. Oh, shit. Hold on, y'all. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm just gonna sit y'all like this and I'm gonna bend down. Okay, I have on my gown, so excuse me. My nightgown. So yeah. This how I came out. I'm gonna flat iron it a little more too tomorrow before I pair it up with an outfit. I need to flat iron it a little more to get it a little more straighter, but I just want to hair up and show y'all how it came out. It don't look too bad, but it's not the best at all it's not the best at all so i'm gonna wear it two times and i'm gonna toss it in the garbage can because i don't want it anymore but since i did all that hard work i got at least word one or two times before i threw it away so that's how we looking y'all that's how we looking let me turn on this light maybe if i do a little more light that's how we looking y'all So anyway, you guys, I got that all on my hand. I got to try to get this off. It's still, the dye still coming out the weed. The little dye is on there. But anyway, you guys, so I'm going to end this video. I hope y'all enjoyed this. It was an epic fail, but I still managed it to complete, complete this project, you guys. I will be doing it again. I'll be ordering me a synthetic wig, but this time it's going to be blonde. And, uh, we're going to do it the same with the wrist dye, but we're going to do it a little different though. I'm really going to read over the directions um, or watch some YouTube videos and I'm going to see can I do it much better the next time because a whole lot of people that have tried to dye uh, they wig like blue and stuff. It didn't come out the blue that they wanted it. It came out lighter. So, yeah. So, if you want to watch some more YouTube uh, tubers uh, dyeing a uh, wig, synthetic wig, just get on YouTube and uh, put on there how to dye a synthetic wig with wrist dye. And um, it'll pull right up plenty of videos, you guys. And so, you can uh, watch those videos too because this right here was an epic fail. Some people on there, uh, they didn't fail their, their uh, tutorial they did, their video. And some people failed theirs like I failed mine. Okay? It didn't work for me. So, I'll be trying it again. But we'll be doing... You know some different experiments to make this work okay so i'm gonna holler y'all peace i'm gonna see y'all in my next video bye oh look at that i don't know how to get this off i gotta get this off my hand